Now, Extinction Rebellion has called for supporters to stop making mortgage payments and take out loans with no intention of paying them back. It's an attempt to force the government and banks to take further action towards reducing carbon emissions. The environmental campaign group has urged the government to declare a climate and ecological emergency. It's called for people to engage in financial disobedience by refusing to pay debts, including credit cards and payday loans. The lobbyists have said that the campaign, which they've called Money Rebellion, would aim to donate the money saved by refusing to pay back loans and mortgage repayments to support those worst hit by the negative impacts of climate change. Dr. Gail Bradbrook is one of the co-founders of Extinction Rebellion. Um, did someone make this up on the back of a cigarette packet, Gail? Afternoon to you. Good afternoon. No, in fact, um, you know, Prince Charles said that we need nothing short of a paradigm shift. So what we're doing is uh, really honouring calls from people like Prince Charles. So you want people to not pay their mortgage and do what? Just sit there no. and wait for the repossession? No, what we're asking people to do if they feel to is to pledge not to join, not to pay their mortgage if thousands of other people would join them. So there'll be safety in numbers. Right. And what will happen? I mean, by the, by the time the receivers come in to take their house away, what's what happens at that point? Well, Do Extinction hopefully. Rebellion cough up for a new house? Well, hopefully what will happen in the meantime is that banks like Barclays Bank, who are the biggest funders of fossil fuels and industrial animal agriculture, will stop doing such behaviour and we can call off the protest. You know, what we've had to do is to scale up because we've been saying we're in an emergency for many years and crimes against humanity are being committed. We have to do something further because the message is not getting through and sufficient action is not being taken. And the government's just come up with a 10-point programme. It's some form of progress but actually they're spending at least 12 times as much on destructive projects such as hs2 and new roads uh, they subsidize fossil fuels we're going in the wrong direction we're heading for su such amounts of warming in the planet that some scientists think that half of the planet will die uh half you know billions of people and that's a, a crime against humanity ian so half the planet okay, when, when, when when is this predicted for it's because, I mean, Extinction, Extinction Rebellion, you have, with respect to yourself, uh, Gail, you have got a bit of a PhD over there at XR of wheeling out some alarming stats based on nothing. It's not based on nothing. That's from Professor Johan Rockström of the Potsdam Institute on Climate Impact Research. You know, some scientists think we're on what's called relative concentration pathway 8.5, which is similar to what uh, it was described in the Nature magazine as the Permian mass extinction when 97% of all life died. It's apocalyptic and it's really hard to get over to ordinary people how bad it is. But, you know, I but mean... But if it was that the, bad, come the on, the IMF, governments would be, the, the, would be working on this, wouldn't they? Well, you would hope so, Ian, wouldn't you? You would hope so, but actually governments are not protecting people. You can see that through this, you know, the COVID crisis is an example of the environmental crisis. We know that in climate change, you're going to get a lot more uh, climate, things like COVID. Um, we, we're, we're, we're heading for an antibiotics crisis. We've got a crisis in our soil. The waters are polluted. The, the water, fresh water's running out across the world. You know, the MOD had a report in June saying um, that... Uh, we um, sorry that we, we've 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 got, we've by 2030 we could be in a a perfect storm of food, water, and energy crises. You know everybody's raising the alarm, but the problem that we've got is the action that's been taken is just woefully inadequate, and ordinary people are not being protected. So when the crises hit, ordinary people are in such dire straits, and that's what we're saying is we need a grown-up conversation to say what kind of political economy should we have that protects people, plans for crises, repairs the harm that we've done, repairs the damage and sets humanity on a different path. So one of your ways of doing this then to go back to where we began, Gally, is to tell people not to pay their debts, don't pay your mortgage, take out a loan and don't pay it back. Come on, there'd be carnage. I, I would never tell people what to do, by the way. I would say to people... Well, that's what the initiative them. is about, isn't it? It's to try and get people we're to making not pay a, their We're mortgage. making an opportunity there for people... They'll have to their houses repossessed, girl. Mass civil disobedience people. The bailiffs, have you ever seen those daytime TVs when the bailiffs come round, those those programmes? They'll have your flat screen out of there no sooner than you can say rebellion. 
people will take this as far as they want. But as I said to you, Ian, what the point here is to build up a big threat and people will take it as they want. Some Extinction Rebellion people have been to jail. In the past, sure. social changes happened because people went to jail. People did extraordinary things. They did take risks. But you are, you you are trying to use, vote. you're using you, people as fodder to advance your own political ideology, they, aren't you? What happens Absolutely if somebody ends up homeless? Well, would that work for you if somebody's homeless? Because it's all in the name of the cause? It, it, it's up to that person to decide how far to take it. We will have a lot But if they listen to what you're people. saying and the alarming headlines you've given us and think, well, I better do something about this, I'll stop paying the mortgage, fast forward a year, and they're living on a park bench. Is that okay? I don't think that's going to happen to people. I how think do you that's know that's not going that to happen? Make. If you're telling people not to pay their mortgage, the upshot generally is they have their house taken away. If they don't pay their loans, then they're penalised no, in some if, other way. If if five to 10,000 people threaten to not pay their mortgage, then the system would have to wake up. That's the point, Ian. I mean, if no, it, five to 10,000 people could have their homes repossessed. Have you thought this through, Gail? Come on, be honest with me. Five you. to 10,000 people are going to have no homes in this country Ian, due to mass flooding. I mean, we're in a, a situation where it requires really difficult choices to be made by people to step forwards for their grandchildren and for the future of the planet. So if we... do okay. not have a, a livable future. Idiot. So some people may take such vast, you know, risks. I mean, I'm at risk of going to jail myself for an action I, te I took. And, not, and if, if that's what happens, then so be it. But I did that with full awareness of what I was doing and why. And anybody who participates in this action, we will give them a full legal and financial briefing and I'll be supported throughout the process. Well, I'm sure that will be a, 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 some comfort when you're drinking lightning jacks in Victoria Park in East London.